Hey everybody, and we're back with another vid for you guys, and today's vid is going to be on Floyd and Mulvey Hill, the Cars 1 version of the Gaspin Racer Hood Ache Relief, number 70, as a suggestion video. This video was suggested to me by Mason Bland, so thank you very much, Mason Bland, for the suggestion. I really do appreciate your suggestion. I do pr appreciate anyone who suggests, I mean, I really just do appreciate all of them, and if you'd like to make a suggestion of your own, anyone out there who hasn't made one yet, you can either comment on one of my videos or private message me on Google+. Plus. So anyway, as you guys can see, Mason Bland suggested Floyd Mulvey Hill, who was Gaspin number 70, the Cars 1 version. There is a Cars 3 version of Floyd Mulvey Hill. You heard me right. Floyd Mulvey Hill is back in Cars 3. He's still the Gaspin racer, but he has a different model, and it's the Cars 3 version. This is the Cars 1 version. So that's the one we'll be reviewing today. And hopefully the Cars 3 version of him does get released soon, although it has not been confirmed for a diecast yet. Hopefully it comes soon, but nonetheless, let's get right into the review of the awesome Gaspin racer, Floyd Mulvey Hill. And just to let you guys all know, I'm probably just going to be calling him Floyd for the rest of the video. Because I keep saying Floyd Mulvey Hill, I always feel like I'm messing something up in his last name, like I'm mispronouncing something. But in case I'm not, just in case... I'm just going to call him Floyd for the rest of the video. So, as you guys can see, he has this awesome determined expression. Very, very determined. He's very determined to win the Piston Cup, actually. Well, not actually, but he is determined to win the Piston Cup, it looks like. And unfortunately, my camera doesn't want to focus when I zoom in, so it looks like I can't do that. I'll try more later and see how that works out. The focus looks to be going a little bit better now when I'm zoomed in. So as you guys can see, his additional Piston Cup sponsors are Nitroid, Piston Cup, Revolting, Octane Gain, Moose Springs, No Stall, Vitaline, Gaskets, Gas Brand itself, which is odd because Gas Brand's already his sponsor. But nonetheless, the others are Ezra, Little Turkey Pistons, Clutch Aid, Retread, RPM, and Leakless. Black Rims, Light Your Tires, all the Piston Cup braces have Light Your Tires, obviously. And he has number 70 because that's his number. His main colors look to be yellow and blue. Just yellow and blue. There's his big yellow portion right here. And as it gets to the back, it starts going to blue again. Right here, yeah, there's like little logo. Kind of different from the one right here. So that's kind of cool. Gasprin 70. It actually does say Hoodache Relief on the bumper, which I really, really do like. He used the leakless model for the Cars 1 models. We always go by the one that was made first with this model, and in this case, it was Claude Scruggs. So he used the Claude Scruggs model. And his hood, you have this, like, kind of pill medicine thing for Gasprin. So I guess it's like a pill to make your hood better because of the slogan right here, Hood Ache Relief. He has raised eyelids and green eyes, the base here. Looks to be a 2010 Floyd Mulvey Hill, I guess, because it does not have that many codes as you expect on a regular diecast nowadays. So this is probably a earlier version of Floyd. And as you guys can see, you also have his yellow plastic headlight, 70 on this headlight, and this nice little grill representing a mustache. If you guys don't remember him from Cars 1, he appeared, of course, at the very beginning at the first race, which was at the Motor Speedway of the South Race, and he was just one of the background Piston Cup racers. He never spoke, and he only had, I guess he had a prominent appearance, but he still didn't speak. It was pretty cool. Remember that scene, guys, where McQueen was, like, passing by? Well, he got stuck. I'm, like, I'm going to try to reiterate it right now. Cut the video. Floyd and Rusty were right next to each other right here. McQueen was stuck behind him. Then he uses the wall trick, and he goes up the wall with his fenders right here, goes right beside him, and then goes right in front of him. And these two are, like, shocked. Like, what the heck just happened? How do you do that? And he, they were very shocked. They were, like, shocked for the rest of that time. So he didn't speak, but that was his prominent appearance in the movie. Let me know in the comment section down below, who do you prefer between Rusty Cornfield and Floyd, I think I prefer probably, I say probably Floyd more. And the only reason is because of what his sponsor actually does. Tokat sponsor is completely inappropriate, but I am not going to talk about it in this video. Try to search it up or Google it or something. But anyway, let me know in the comments down below who's your favorite. And the reason why I asked 
this because these two were released in a two pack together in 2007 and 2008. So anyway, hope you guys did enjoy this video. Thank you very much for Mason Bland for suggesting this video because without him suggesting this, this video would cease to exist. So anyway, um, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Thank you guys all for your support. I'll see you guys all next time in the next vid. Peace out.